started. All right, cool. All the VOD stuff is sorted. Oh yeah, uh, speaking of Ocarina of Time though, I told you I beat the game, right? I didn't know you, you didn't hadn't beat it before. Nope. Uh, a few months ago was my first time ever playing and beating Ocarina of Time. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah. That's pretty good. Oh, it's a masterpiece, man. That game's amazing. It's, it's cool, it's yeah. cool. <laughs> yeah. Uh, welcoming oh. Alessia to Go ahead. Go ahead. the commentary. Yep. Welcome on, welcome on. Yo, we were just talking about why Ocarina of Time is a goat. Majora's Mask is better. I mean, that's up to your personal perspective. In my opinion, it is because I think, like, in every way, like Ocarina of Time, yeah, it was like very uh, revolutionary. All right, it was yeah. great. It's still a great game. It's but a like, timeless masterpiece. Yeah, and like, but I think it was like Majora's Mask is like it adds like a whole new layer of like lore, and like just like it's like more dark, you know, like more story. See, the um, thing where Majora Mask succeeds, it has better <laughs> character writing and world building. Yeah, exactly. And that's why, yeah. I, that's why I appreciate in like a game like Zelda. Yeah, it's amazing. And Majora's Mask is one of the I think, best I think, games I've I think made Majora's Mask reason. has better dungeons as well. I, oh, no, that is cap. You have not played Forest <laughs> Temple enough. Or Spirit Temple. Anyway, the game. Or Water Temple. Yeah, uh, so Nick McKenzie versus Skinny Pat. Uh, Byleth versus... Um, I was game watch today, which is pretty cool. Yeah. So, uh... As we know, Extra has gone by a couple of different tags over the course of his career. Uh, one of them being Byleth Bro 34. Yeah, so he knows uh, a bit about Byleth as well. Yeah, he knows this character pretty well and knows a fair bit about what to do against this character. And, oh, mm. shit, that's so, that was really, really good. I know he just wanted to go low to try and um, knock Skinny Pad off the trajectory with that up there of his. Yeah, also... I think, you know what's, like, interesting? Like, when you're playing this game, like, it, I guess it might be for me, but if I'm playing against, like, a Greninja or something, because, like, I use Greninja probably like, the second most. Yeah. Like, it's weird. I, I, I view the match differently. I view the match, like, okay, well, if I was the Greninja, I would be going for more dash attacks. And, like, if I, like, before the set, like, okay, Greninja, like, I would, like, what, what would I do in a set as Greninja? Mm -hmm. I would go for dash attacks and down tilts and uh, nares in neutral. So that's how I really think about the game differently when I'm, like, playing against a character I know very well. Yeah, I can absolutely understand that. I do the same thing with Snake and Cloud. Yeah. Like, with Snake, I'm like, okay, I want to try and put, make a wall and so sort of push with that wall. Yeah, and also, I think playing the character is the way that you know the best counterplay. And yeah, absolutely. I think that's why playing a lot of characters in this game is very, very good. Yeah, it gives you a lot of matchup knowledge that you otherwise wouldn't have. Yeah. It gives you an, knowing it's like, a yes. character's tools inside and out, just knowing... Well, I know this works against X thing. Will it work if I use X thing? Yeah. Also, I think, um, yeah, um, the best way to like game uh, matchup knowledge in this game is just like a new layer to actually play the character. Mm, you can have like like specific people with their habits, but habits are like that's what makes the game fresh because everyone has different habits. You can't like always know what everyone's habits going to be before you play them. You just know like a general sense, and having the uh, idea of what the character is going to do in general is a very, very good fucking, um, like, place to start when you're starting a set. Yeah, absolutely. And so that's just my bit of uh, Smash philosophy. Yeah, I completely agree with that. Matchup knowledge, especially in a game with 80-plus characters, is so crucial. Because mm. you never know just what you're going to get in a bracket. Yeah. So having knowledge on the entire roster, especially such an extensive knowledge of the entire roster, is so handy. Yeah, also, uh, it's very close to this game. Yeah, absolutely. Skinny I just noticed. Pat's putting in a lot of good work against Neck here. Yeah, uh, yeah, he's that bacon. Th yeah, the ledge trap is good. <gasps> that nearly killed. That nearly killed. Oh, Back yeah, throw. it is so close. We do not know. Like, I actually can't tell who's like going to take this one. It's yeah. like it's, it, it, anyone could do this actually. <laughs> yeah. 
Ooh. Yeah, okay, wow. that was very close, but like extra clutch that up. Yeah, I was not expecting that angle. Mm. I was expecting it to go off to the side. Mm. You don't know. You never know what's character. Yeah, absolutely. But yeah, very close game for just game one. I'm really surprised. I'm impressed, yeah. It, yeah. It, that was a really, really good showing from Skinny Pat. Yeah, absolutely. Extra clutch it out though. Mm -hmm. So if you just clutch if you just like he, he might have like adapted now and he'll probably know what to do for the second game. But yeah, who knows? Yeah. Sort of putting his head into first gear and just going, All right, yeah, I remember this character now. Here's what I do. Hmm. They might have counterplay. Here's my counter to that counterplay. For real. Yeah. I was talking with uh, Extra before, and um, he was talking about back in like early 2019, first time he was fighting Ridley, and it was talking about how he got hit by down throw skewer. Yeah. Rolled into a down smash and lost his stock instantly. And he's like, all right, what the hell was that? I need to get my <laughs> shit straight. Yeah. And I th think he won that set. But yeah. I think Nick is very much capable of opening his eyes in a in a sense and yeah. just turning his brain on like as he's doing now, he's just going straight into overdrive. Oh Yeah, he's gotten him to like hundred percent already, which yeah. is great. From as him. I was saying, he's gone into overdrive. Definitely is adapting a lot. But hopefully, uh, let's see if Skinny Pack can actually like take this back as well. Oh, that's pretty much the stock. Is no, it? No, no, no. Okay. Bioth has a really good recovery now. I, I keep on forgetting. I literally keep on forgetting that Bioth has such a good recovery. Yeah. That it's like a character that doesn't seem like it would have a good recovery, right? Yeah, because it's a tether. Okay, you see like what? You see a uh, what's like a good example? You see like uh hmm. It's like Sephiroth, right? Mm -hmm. That character is like a character that looks like he has a good recovery. Yeah, you like look at the Sephiroth. Wing, he's yeah. tall, very yeah. light, you and his recovery is like good, right? Like he's like up his freight. And I'm like, okay, that's a character that can recover well. You look at Bob and you're like, I can get this character easily. No, you can't. No, you. And can't. It's like, love is in the air. No, and the side B is uh, <laughs> the side B is coming. Love is in the air. Wrong back air. Yeah, exactly. So like, um, yeah, that's why. Like, that's just like something I keep forgetting about Bob. It's like it's it's just better min min. That was close. Yeah, he wanted that roll in so bad. But it's just like better min min recovery. Yeah, I mean min min probably has like the worst tether recovery in the game. No, not the worst recovery. Have you seen Ganondorf? Have you oh seen wait, no, no, I forgot about Ivy Sword tether recovery. Yeah, I'm yeah, just going by tether recovery. Uh, oh, tether reco Oh, okay. Yeah, it's like Ivy Sword and then min min. Oh yeah. Ivy Sword is so easily capable. That character. Yeah, is no, so for real. Bad recovery. <laughs> Min Min's up there too. I don't think I've yeah. As a Jigglypuff player, like I don't think I've ever like, uh, like I think like eighty percent of the time I've kept uh, like, uh, like a Min Min, mm -hmm. because like it's not their fault that the fucking character sucks at recovering. Yeah. But Byleth here, really good, and Extra has actually adapted a lot, and is yeah taking yeah. a very very sizable lead. Ooh, Ooh that will, he, he still wanted yeah, that. Yeah. That was fast. Yeah, that was a smart spot dodge though. It was. Mm, yeah, he's if at that fake had hit into the F smash, that would have been nice. Not looking good for Skinny. Yeah, good parry. Yeah. And that's 2-0. Definitely saw some improvement in the second uh, game for uh, Extra. Yeah. But uh, Skinny Pat did really, really well first game. Yeah. Like